as you see we are doing a lot of material creation in the course because this is very important for you when it comes to creating effects without knowing how to create materials and textures your effect will be very poor and you will hit walls so make sure you spend time on learning how to create materials for FX. So in the scene you see I have a texture with some weird orange lines. So if I connect uh, the RGB to the base color, nothing happens as you see, just we see the image. And if I go to the lit and let's set that to unlit, and this is going to remove the specular and the reflections from the texture so we can see it better. And now let's go ahead and create vector to radial value. So basically this is going to convert the Cartesian coordinate to radial coordinate. So for example, if I connect that to the UVs, as you see now, they converted to a radial coordinate or it called polar coordinate. And you see we have the repetitive texture there on the sides. So we can scale it up to remove this part. We can do that by coming over here and typing texture coordinate. So this texture coordinate is the Cartesian coordinate. You see the texture went to the upper left and that's because we have zero values there. So we can subtract, subtract. If I open that and now if I subtract, let's say 0 0.5 from that, you see we moved the coordinate to the center. So why 0 0.5? Because this is 1, 1. That's why I am subtracting 0 0.5. And now if I connect that there, now we centered the image. And if you want to scale it more, let's say you want to scale it down, you can go there and set that, for example, 1.2 and 1.2. And now we get another problem as you see the center shifted to the left and up and because we subtracted 0 0.5 we need to subtract 0 0.6 because this one is 1.2 so let's go ahead half of 1.2 it's 0 0.6 and now we center that again let's take a look at another example let me drop that there And you see if I select the material and if I scroll down, we have the two sided. So if I check that on and if I look behind that, you see I see the same texture. What if I want to see different texture than this one? We can use a very handy tool. It's called two side texturing. So let's connect the first texture to the first input and the next one to the second input and let's connect that to the base color and now you see we have two texture this is very important trick when you want to create cards with niagara and you want to have different faces on each side 